Hey guys, it's Abby. How are you guys doing tonight? Um, tonight, I wanted to bring to you some celebrities who have smoked on the big screen. Um, I did a little bit of searching around and when I did that video about celebrities who smoked, um, I started to wonder what celebrities have smoked um, on the screen for roles that they've had to play. Um, and find out if they actually are smokers off the big screen as well. So, I thought I would break this to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Tonight I have my baby big green lighter. Um, some of the celebrities that I found that have smoked, um, the first one that actually popped up was Clint Eastwood, um, who reportedly is a non-smoker and doesn't like cigarette smoke. Um, he typically smoked little cigars, um, in his films and you can um, see him smoking in his films uh, Play Misty for Me if some of you are familiar with that um, the Dirty Harry movies um, and his uh, more recent video or movie I should say uh, Gran Torino um, which was a really good movie I liked that movie but he had smoked for those characters and didn't like smoking. Um, another famous actor was John Travolta. Um, he can be seen smoking in several of his movies, um, like in Pulp Fiction, which I thought was a great movie, um, <clears throat> and Face Off, another great movie, although I will admit I love John Travolta really I just love him to death so anyway um, he actually even smoked a pipe in one of the films he made called the Punisher um, and he doesn't necessarily smoke cigarettes in real life um, he has admitted to indulging in smoking like five six cigars a week so I found that to be interesting I don't know if that's any better for you really um, another act another actress is um, Glenn Close um, she actually played a chain smoker in one of her films, and I really haven't heard of this film until I started looking this up. So I'm gonna have to try and find it and check it out. Um, she played a chain smoker in the film called Hillbilly Elegy. Um, her character, Mama, was a lifetime chain smoker who would even sometimes smoke two cigarettes at the same time at once. So I found that to be quite interesting. I'm going to have to look that up. If any of you have seen that movie, let me know what you thought of it. Another famous actress um, who smoked on the big screen and actually smoked off the big screen um, was Betty Davis. Um, she loved smoking. She never hit it and um, she smoked in some of her films such as all about even all about Eve even and whatever I'm thinking that was all about Eve that was a typo on my part and um, whatever happened to baby Jane that one I was familiar with I had never heard of the other one 
Um, but she was very open about being a smoker. She smoked all her life. Um, she was even actually, she actually even spoke out against the whole non-smoking movement and was quoted as saying, I wish to have my own life. All this whole thing has to do with people who gave up smoking and can't stand it. I think it's a big farce myself. And I think it's our own business what we do. Who has the right to say you can't smoke? Makes me smoke more. Ha ha ha. No, I don't like it. And that was in reference to the whole quit smoking, non-smoking, banned smoking movement. She was very against it. Um, and actually some of the photos I found of her um, later in life um, actually are her with a smoke in her mouth. Um, another actor I found was William B. Davis who starred in the X-Files TV series. So any of you X-Files people out there, um, I guess he was an ex-smoker who smoked for his role on the X-Files. He had quit for 20 years. And for the first few episodes of the X-Files, he actually smoked cigarettes and then switched to smoking herbal cigarettes for the remainder of the series because he didn't want to get back into that habit. So I found that to be interesting. Another famous actor from back in the day, Humphrey Bogart. He smoked, he was another one who smoked on the big screen and off. Um, and reportedly he had smoked two, he was a two pack a day smoker. Um, and that actually eventually took his life in the form of esophageal cancer, um, cancer in the esophagus, um, which is sad, but, um, clearly the dangers of smoking did not stop him from smoking. Another actor I found, um, one of, uh, Robert De Niro's most famous movie quotes um, says was say hello to my little friend um, maybe he was referring to the cigars he smoked in some of his movies uh, <laughs> but he also smoked in films on the big screen like Cape Fear what awesome movie <clears throat> and of course most notably his gangster movies um, like Scarface and The Untouchables, just to name a few, you can see him smoking in those um, films. Another old school actress, um, the stunningly beautiful, gorgeous, just, she's gorgeous. Hands down, can't even begin to tell me that you don't think she's beautiful, Elizabeth Taylor. Um, she smoked in some of her films also back in the day. Um, the girl in the girl who had everything, um, Rhapsody, Suddenly Last Summer, and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. You can check out all those movies, and she's smoking in all of them. Um, another famous person was Pierce Brosnan. And um, although in the beginning he attempted to play a smokeless James Bond, which I thought this was kind of interesting, um, in some of the James Bond films, um, he eventually caved to the pressure and smoked in Die Another Day. So check out that film with Pierce Brosnan if you haven't. Um, another person was another actor who smoked for movies, um, that, or smoked, he was Sylvester Stallone, he was a smoker, and then discovered becoming short of breath in 
on the set of his Rocky movies, he just just decided to quit um, smoking cigarettes. However, he still en he still admitted to enjoying the occasional cigar. Um, again, I don't know how that's much better, but hey. We all have our reasons and justifications for doing what we do, right? So, <clears throat> um, you know, uh, it's a short list this time, I will admit. Um, I'm sure there are many celebrities who have smoked um, on the big screen. Um, these were just some of the bigger icons that I had found that had done so. Um, I found an interesting statistic um, since the 1970s when the depiction of sm smoking in films was at a 30%. Um, which meant 30% of the films back in the 70s were depicted smokers of some sort of tobacco product. Um, it has steadily decreased to about only 8% of the movies depicting some form of um, smoking tobacco um, by 2020. So that's a large jump. Um, a large decline, decline of uh, people smoking whatever kind of tobacco products on the big screen and TV. Um, I also found a lot of people who have smoked on the big screen and on TV that were not smokers. Um, I found this to be kind of interesting. They would smoke uh nowadays they would smoke uh vapes e-juice e-cigarettes and or they will smoke herbal cigarettes um i also found that one of the things that people the actors do that you know have to get into character and their character smokes is they will light up a cigarette but in the movies or the TV show, they will never actually put it to their mouth and smoke it. So I found that to be quite interesting. I'm going to have to start watching a little closer when I watch TV and movies to see if I notice that. Um, just a little tidbit um, Hollywood trick. Um, But of course, the big jump and decline and all that was a result of the don't smoking, non smoking movement. Um, you know, but really, in my opinion, um, you know, if I'm with Betty Davis, you know, if we quit everything that was labeled bad for you we wouldn't get enjoyment out of anything in life um you know be it you enjoy skiing or skydiving or playing softball or whatever the case may be you know um there's always that risk and possibility of something hurting you um you know even down to like food you eat you see on different articles, newspapers, magazines, TV, whatever. Um, so yeah, if we all quit all the things that we enjoyed in life, we would just, that were considered bad for you, we'd never enjoy life. And what's the point in that? So that's kind of my take on it. Like Betty Davis said, it's my life, it's my choice, and I'm not, who do you think you are to tell me what to do with my life? So, I will end it there, 
Um, leave me your comments. What'd you think about this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit the little bell so you get notification whenever a new video comes up on our channel. And just something to think about tonight. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.